Hey everyone, it is August 21st, 2017, the day of the solar eclipse. Uh, I guess it's the most it'll be eclipsed in a hundred years. And if you're living or take a trip to the path of maximum darkness, I guess it's going to seem like night when it's broad daylight. Theoretically. Anyway, uh, the reason I'm talking to you guys today is that this is one of those huge events in our lives where it causes us to pause and do something other than what we normally do. And I think those times, those big events, whether we know they're coming or whether we don't or whether we choose to take time on our own, it's a great opportunity to think about what we're doing and how we can change our path if we're not happy with it. So today I'm out in Vancouver and I actually did a little hack and this is a great example of the whole hack Hollywood concept. Uh, you're not supposed to be looking at the sun at any point and that includes when it's being eclipsed by the moon. But you can buy these solar eclipse goggle things. And of course they were all sold out by the time I decided to go looking for them. So what I did was I thought, well, what else is like a dark sunglass? And you know who wears really, really dark glasses is welders. So I started looking online at welding goggles and glasses. And I found a set and I had some friends coming into town. Uh, visiting me and my girlfriend and so I bought I drove out to this welding supply store and I bought four welding lenses and you need the shade uh, I supposedly shade 14 is ideal it blocks like 99.8 percent of transmission transmittable light but I got the shade 10 they didn't have any or shade 11 so I think it's 99 or something so if you wear sunglasses and you look through this lens you can look right at the eclipse so I've been playing around looking at it anyway it's just a little bit of a hack is like thinking out of the box when somebody tells you to do something or when you think you need to do something and maybe it's too expensive or it's too difficult or whatever don't just copy what everybody else does think for yourself thinking for yourself is the most powerful thing you can do because there are so many better ways to do things, but we, I don't know if it's a result of being lazy or whether it's a question of being, you know, wanting to fit in and not wanting to stand out. We do things the way everybody else does. So take responsibility and think for yourself because it is your life. And the fact that something works for somebody else doesn't mean it's going to work for you. In fact, the chances are it's not going to work for you because your life is completely different than theirs. Uh, there's so many different things happening all at the same time. They're not happening to us in the same order. So you have to understand where are you at in your life, in your career, and do the things that are right for you at that moment. So anyway, it's a great chance to just pause, take a look, and ask yourself, hey, what am I doing here? You know, is this, does this make sense? Am, am, am I doing what makes sense for me in my life, for my acting career? Whatever, whatever it is, personal relationships. It's great to just take a pause and take stock, take inventory, and ask yourself if you are doing things the way you think you should be doing, not because somebody else is doing it, but because it's logical based on what you want out of life. And that is really the only logic there is. There is really no such thing as logic other than you doing what's right for you based on what you want okay so figure out what you want figure out the things you need to do to get what you want and just start doing them and I promise you you are going to get what you want you may not actually get what you set out to but you'll find that when you do things and you get opportunities you may find you like them more than what you originally thought you wanted to do so I guarantee if you actually do the things to get what you want you will end up doing what you want okay it's just what you want may change along the way so take a moment to pause look at your life and enjoy the eclipse 
and what a cool thing it is that this happens once every hundred years uh, in the United States of America and a little bit of Canada and I guess some other parts of the world as well but I haven't really looked at the whole global thing so anyway guys uh, just a little note to say take a moment to pause and, and look at what you're doing and I think you'll find you'll be able to stay on track get on track uh, get back onto track whichever it is uh, more easily and more often all right we'll talk to you soon